Time for some games on your Feel Good Breakfast show this morning. And with another Lego movie, naturally, that means another Lego game. And we have Gareth Woods in studio this morning with the latest offering. Gareth, lovely to have you, brother. Hey, what's up? Uh, Ninja Go. Yeah. That's what we're playing, man. I'm a big fan of Lego, Lego, Lego games. Yeah, Lego I movies mean, and Lego games. And you're spoiled for choice. I mean, there are just so many of them out there at the moment. I think That's we've reviewed thing, maybe four or five this year. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. So here we go, the brand new offering, Ninja Go. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Ninja Go, Ninjago? Or, yeah, because I've heard a couple of characters in the game pronounce it differently. Some of them are like Ninjago, others are like Ninja Go. I'm like, oh, no, you're confusing me now. I have no okay, idea what's going well. on. It's okay. It's it's still a cool one, man. Uh, so let's chat about this one. What what does this latest offering give us? So it's obviously linked to not only the franchise. It's a bit of a weird kind of circle because you've got the the franchise that's made a movie, and now this game is linked to both that franchise and the movie. Yeah. So yeah, uh, bit of a mix. Um, yeah, and so it's it's that classic kind of Lego feel good fun here. We are taking on this uh, bad like dude. I think his name's Garmagon, Garmadon, or something like that. Um, and yeah, yeah, we take we're in our little dragon. Um, kind of mech <laughs> thing that we built and we're taking out this kind of shark mech thing you know kind of everyday occurrence here in Ninjago City absolutely and checking it bouncing around and you know um, this is I love the the, the, the kind of gameplay into yeah. the Lego man it is, it is straightforward you know it's enjoyable both for adults I love playing uh, Lego games with my boy as well uh, but but in terms of this specific game, in terms of, and, and, and solving puzzles and that, how yeah. far have you actually gotten? So I'm about an hour and a half in, okay. and uh, yeah, so there's a good mix of the kind of action button mashing that you love from previous uh, Lego games, but then it's also got a fair amount of, uh, it's not so much problem solving as, as kind of um, uh, figuring out your way of getting around a, a problem. So for example, there are a couple of times where there'll be some bricks lying on the ground and then you'll build a solution you might need a ladder for example yeah. and then your character will go and build the ladder that he needs to climb up a wall for example i mean yeah we solved the problem of quite quickly of to take down the guy's force field by stopping those force field generating dudes yeah it's made a little bit easier sometimes with like you see that it shows the errors as to where the weak spots are of this particular bad guy and I'm just doing my best to dodge his <laughs> minions. Uh, and you are, at least you've got markers as to where to, to hit, the, hit the kind of enemy. Yeah, so I think for great. your hardcore gamers, they might find this a little bit easy. Yeah. But I think for anyone who's looking for something a bit fun or something to play with someone younger, or if you're just a Lego fan, you'll obviously just enjoy yeah. this. And I think what's great as well is linked to the Lego movies, the humor is just spot on. There's That's some really, exactly really great about. humorous moments. In it's as close to the movie as you yeah, get as 100%. well. Um, now, besides the fact that it's visually appealing as well, that's the one thing that I love about the, the kind of Lego franchise is that when you play it, I mean, it's stimulating, it's great to look at, you know, it's fun yeah. as well. But what about the co-op features in this specific game? So yeah, you can jump in with another player and then you obviously have that second player to play with. And that, uh, that's very important with some of the problem solving. So there's certain uh, areas where only a certain character's abilities will get you through. Yeah. And so sometimes you've got to work together, sometimes you've got to decide who's the best place to be able to solve a problem. Yeah. And you know, obviously that's great for you know, friends or you know, uh, adults and, and their, their kids to be able to like, solve problems together. Absolutely. Like I mentioned, I love playing the Lego with my boy. Most, of, most often, I, I'm the one that spends more time playing the games as well. <laughs> Enjoy that while it lasts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely true. Absolutely. He's getting, he's getting really good at it. Um, but what I love about the Lego games is well, it's an affordable kind of game to buy. Yeah, you know? yeah and your replayability is quite great. So different characters, you can play through different times, they're different collectibles that you unlock throughout the game. So you play it through once, maybe for the story, but then the next time you play it out to maybe beat your previous time or your previous score to unlock features that you hadn't played uh, previously. Yeah. So, so definitely, I think, like you mentioned, um, for the adults, but, but more geared towards the younger generation. Yeah, 100%. Awesome stuff. Lego and Ninja Go. I'm definitely going to have a go. And they look at that. The poor guy has to be airlifted. <laughs> poor guy just ravaged the city. And <laughs> just like that. I'm going to give it a go. Check it out. The brand new Lego Ninja Go. We're playing it on PS4 at the moment. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. So uh, as usual, stick around with us here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And of course, October is packed with some of 2018's biggest titles yet. So stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show for all of your gaming updates.